Hello and welcome to another Spectrum Geeks video. My name is Dale and in this video I'm going to be talking about a new electric motorcycle company here in the UK called Mathing and the chance that I had to test ride their launch edition, the RM1. Now if you're new to Spectrum Geeks videos I like to go into quite a lot of detail and in depth and research anything that I'm looking into to try and help make more informed purchasing decisions and this video is just like my other one. So it could be a lengthy video where I'm trying to go in as much detail as possible. I'm gonna start off with talking a little bit about the brand and some specifics about the model, and then we'll jump on to um, the test ride where I'm obviously talking about how the bike feels. And again, some of the specs as they come to me as I'm riding along, and then we'll wrap up with a little uh, kind of wrap up at the end, essentially. If you don't wanna watch the whole thing, uh, that's fine. Everything it will be time coded. You can jump around to different chapters in the video to focus on what you're most interested in so hope that helps but uh, yeah let's jump in to this video review so Maving as I mentioned it's a British motorcycle company based up in Coventry I think many would say Coventry is the home of British uh, motorcycling from back in the years so Maving was formed in 2017 and the name Maving actually originates from the term Maven uh, and that is to be an expert in either your field or in the production of whatever it is. So Maving is looking to be experts in the building of electric motorcycles. The RM1 is their launch edition. And to me, the thing looks absolutely amazing. So yeah, the, the RM1, it, it kind of harps back to those 60s, 70s kind of original motorcycle kind of design. Basically, you know, the first motorcycle was based off a bicycle that had a motor fitted to it. And I think that's kind of some of the, the foundational elements of the, the RM1. But obviously then you've got the funkiness of you know, electric mobilization of a vehicle. So Maving, as I mentioned, based in Coventry, currently around 60 empl employees. Most of them are ex-Triumph employees, so you know, they know what they're doing when it comes to mating, making a motorcycle. So the RM1 is focused on being an urban kind of commuter vehicle. Um, Maving are currently around 16 employees, again, based in Coventry, like I mentioned, uh, and this being their first vehicle. And it, the reason it's focused on the urban commuter and I guess the urban living individual is for a couple of key reasons with this specific model. First of all, it only has a 40 to 80 mile range, depending on what battery you have. So obviously if you have one battery, 40 mile range, you can basically have two batteries, which doubles it up to 80 miles of range, but then you lose your luggage storage. But one of the unique things about mailing is you don't have the ability to charge a vehicle on the road, but you can, take those batteries out and charge them in a charging dock at home or at the office. So it's perfect for someone that doesn't have a driveway, can't drive in a park on the road, but perhaps you've got an apartment in London or in, in a, another big city and that's where you're going to do your charging. So you have the ability to take those batteries out and, and charge them. Obviously makes uh, the bike a little bit more secure because it's harder for someone to steal because it has no power, but also the batteries are expensive at £995 each. Then you know, you don't want those to be stolen, so you can take those away. Each of those batteries, again mentioned, 40 miles of range, takes around four and a half hours to charge. They are 48 volt, 42 amp hour batteries, you know, produce about two kilowatts of energy. The original launch edition bikes had Samsung cells, but now it's LG cells in any of these batteries. And the batteries basically have a three year warranty on them, but you can extend them to five. Whether you want to do that is obviously up to you. I'm pretty confident that um, you know, these batteries are going to last a reasonable amount of time in this electric motorcycle because the demands on it aren't that great. So 
in terms of the costing of the bike, so if you want to buy the uh, Maving RM1 with both batteries and the charger, then it's £5,990 at the time of doing this review. If you just want the single battery, it's £4,995. Obviously, you can add a, an extra battery later uh, if you want. That's not a problem. Or buy additional battery if you want to keep you know, one at the office as well for the commute back without having to worry about charging it. If you want to buy an extra charger, uh, that's £195. And the Founders Edition bikes, which is the ones you see uh, in this video, you, they've got these really nice carbon mug guards in my opinion they're nice anyway uh, so the new version or the, I guess the released version after the founders doesn't have those and it's 300 pounds extra if you want to have those as well you can also spec a gps tracker that you can obviously then monitor it from the app for extra security uh, on the motorcycle if you decide to go for that that's an extra 195 pounds and that comes with three years worth of tracking so if it was me spending this money i probably would um, go for one of those Gain access to the battery compartments and the um, storage compartment, which is 10 litres, or again, you put the battery in there to take up storage. Also a little USB charge in there, a charge on your phone. Both of those areas are electronically actuated, so there's no uh, mechanical lock on it, so it's basically locked electronically, which obviously improves the, the security a little bit um, more. In terms of the weight of the motorcycle itself, so 95 kilograms is how much the RM1 weighs, and each of those batteries weighs 12 kilograms. So obviously, add another 12 or 24 kilograms depending um, on what battery setup um, you're weighting. If you decide to order one, uh, the wait time at the moment is around three months. Currently, they build around three bikes per day. But when I was up there and had a little tour around their factories and kind of where they're building things. Um, they are slowly increasing from three a day to ten a day, so they're going to be getting through the backlog. Basically, they're having trouble keeping up with orders at the moment, which is fantastic. There are seven colours available for the Maving RM1: black, blue, sand, silver, white, British Racing green, and grey. I really like the grey or the British Racing green for myself, but I think apparently the black, the blues seem to be um, most popular. You buy your uh, Maving RM1 direct from Maving. There's no distributors or dealers. So a bit like when you buy a Tesla or a Polestar 2, you just buy directly from their website and they will deliver it to your door. I think the first service is free. And again, they'll come to your door or to your place of work and do that whilst you're at home or at work. And then I think future servicing, there's not too much to it. Uh, and they're estimating around 150 pounds um, for future servicing, but again, they will come to your door or to uh, your place of work or if you're on holiday or wherever it may be. If you have a preferred um, motorcycle uh, engineer or garage where you have other motorcycles uh, dealt with and perhaps you want this to be done there, they will make their workshop and service manual available. So again, you can get your, I guess, your trusted mechanic to work on them if you like. Um, in terms of the um, motorcycle itself, it has a... Um, quite a linear um, torque curve on the froth. That's one thing that I noticed in the video, which I'm gonna, we'll wrap up that uh, at the end, but it's, it's very smooth, very kind of progressive in terms of riding. So it's p perfect for someone that's just got their CBT, because this basically is a, a motorcycle that's replicating uh, the power of a, a 125. So it's three kilowatts of, of continuous power. And if you really kind of give it the beans, it will boost up to 4.5 kilowatts. So it's roughly around the same performance of a 125cc motorcycle. 65% of the components of the Maving RM1 are made here in the UK. A couple of the key, key pieces which aren't UK built is the frame is made and uh, manufactured in China. Lots of people get a bit funny about that. I think it's a good thing. The frame is very well made, great welds, everything looks like a quality product. Um, the motor is a hub motor, that Bosch hub motor that is manufactured um, in Germany. The seat itself is manufactured in Spain, but the kind of, I think it's a faux leather covering, uh, which looks really nice, real nice stitching. That is made in Italy. Obviously the battery being either Samsung or LG, I'm pretty sure that's in um, South Korea, and that's not a bad thing there. The kind of industry leading uh, people in these battery um, manufacturing. And uh, yeah, it's just a quality piece of kit. In terms of top speed, um, it's 45 miles per hour. 
give or take a few miles per hour again, depending on rider weight. Uh, and obviously what kind of great, if you're going up a hill, so it's going to be a little bit slower if you're going downhill a little bit faster. If you do uh, live in a hillier area, I do recommend getting the two batteries instead of just the one, because you do get um, a little bit more torque. The batteries basically run in parallel. So that's why you get a little bit more extra power if you've got both the batteries in there. No regeneration uh, with a hub motor. You don't really need it with a bike uh, of this size and this power. Uh, and no ABS either, but uh, there is linked braking. So the left hand uh, brake lever does your linked braking. So 40% um, front and 60% rear, I think it is, or, um, or the other way around. I think it is 60% rear, 40% front, uh, but it stops, it stops well. That's not a problem. And there are three rider modes on the bike. So you have rider mode one, which is full speed. So full access to that peak 4.5 kilowatts of power, then back to the, the three kilowatts continuous. And that would kind of get you up to 30, um, really quick, like only 125, and you'll gradually climb up to, I think I got about to 47, 48 uh, in my test ride. Then mode two, that limits it down to 28 miles per hour. So perfect if you're in the 30s and that kind of thing. And then mode three, will limit you down to 20. So that's actually quite helpful. Again, in the urban environments, many urban environments around schools and in city centers have now been limited to 20 miles per hour. So you can put it in mode three, mash the throttle. You're not gonna be worried about getting a speeding ticket or getting done for a camera if you're not um, paying attention to it. Final couple of things, uh, front forks, 37 millimeter forks uh, on the front with 110 millimeters of travel, and 80 millimeter travel. Um, on the back and again you do have some preload adjustment on that but that's the specs and the overview of the Maving RM1 let's cut over to me having the test ride and talk to you about how it feels and again my thoughts and again some refresher on some of the things we just discussed as I ride along so here we are on the Maving RM1 this is Maving's first electric bike RM standing for removable and it is super smooth, very smooth indeed. It has uh, three rider modes, so uh, mode one gives you the full 45 miles per hour capability that we have from this Bosch hob motor. Uh, mode two restricts it down to 28 miles per hour, so perfect for in those 30s. And then again, because this is focused on the urban rider, mode three brings you down to 20 miles per hour. So lots of 20 mile an hour zones in the city, which is why we have that mode. Everything's very clear on the dash. The needle represents your speed. And then we have an electrical display for our amount of charge with 89 percent in the battery at the moment obviously no clutch so they're linked brakes so uh, the front brake or the right hand i should say does the front brake whilst the left hand uh, does 60 percent rear and 40 percent front so they are linked so it's a very smooth progressive throttle so no jerkiness when pulling away which is pretty good and uh, yes, very nice. Probably a little bit more of a twist to kind of get it going. It's a very um, compact bike, very maneuverable. Definitely ideal for urban riders and new riders. I think people are going to feel very confident on the RM1. So the hub motor is made by Bosch, obviously the German engineering there. Three kilowatt continuous performance with peaks up to 4.5 kilowatts when you're really giving it the beans. And in this particular model we've got both the batteries in here so giving us 80 miles of range and obviously a little bit more a bit more juice, a bit more torque which is great for hill climbing and things like that so if I just tweak the throttle a little bit you can see the performance is like in a moment so just hang back so I think we're in a 30 I'm just doing over 25 let's give the throttle a little blip okay so it's not um, like instant reactive 
it is definitely a gradual you know gradual pace so you're probably not going to win any um races at the lights so that's something to keep in mind obviously when pulling out of junctions and at roundabouts um you know, you're going to want a little bit more power so you don't have it so uh, you just obviously need to just time that and that'll just get used to obviously having having this bike and the power it can deliver so i think it's 48 volts I'll put some information up on the screen about the specs of the bike but the brakes are very good so that front brake is nice and progressive not too snatchy and again that uh, the left hand brake which is for your, your rear linked brakes um, is a little bit more aggressive so if you want to stop quickly it's going to be the left hand brake that you want uh, and then the, the right hand brake for more fine controls switch gear all feels pretty good So just pushing the little, um, I guess what I call the flash button, moves through the screen from the odometer, trip, stuff like that. You push and hold that. We can change settings at 12 hour and stuff like that for the clock. Okay, so we're into a 40 now, so if we just check the manoeuvrability a little bit. Very manoeuvrable. And up to 40 without much much hassle obviously the lighter rider you are you will see a little bit of improved performance so again we're cruising along here 40 miles an hour without any issue bike is very capable it's a very nice place to be very comfortable the seat is comfortable um, and the suspension provides good dampening on the road here in england we don't have the best of roads uh, and you probably can't pick it up too much hopefully with uh, how the gopros are working it's a fairly rough row but it's not too rough on my buttocks or my body so very good we move back here into the 30. <laughs> very nice i do love the styling of the maving rm1 may not be to everybody's tastes but a very nice style for me balancing that kind of old school retro from uh, when motorbikes were first invented when people attached motors to bicycles with that kind of modern twist handles very well very well balanced soaks up the bumps and it is completely silent i can't hear anything from the uh, electric motor often with electric vehicles you, know, you get a little bit of wine let's just try this from the junction so we're going to pull away we mash the throttle Yeah, so it's not a high performance bike for pulling away so you definitely obviously will have to acclimatize yourself but very similar to that of a you know a 125 cc uh, piston engine so you just need to get used to it but very nicely controlled through the bends here and i think it looks the part to try another pull away here 86% so you do hear a little bit of motor whine as you pull away there so you hear the I guess the motor spooling up a little bit and you can just roll off the throttle and away we go I think it's great having this kind of two battery setup and obviously the opportunity then to be able to charge in your house or in your work and I think it's 195 pounds for an additional charger and 995 pounds for additional battery I guess the one thing that the Maven doesn't have is obviously opportunity to charge uh, with the charging network so obviously if you do get caught out a little bit further away you can't utilize the electric charging network like you could uh, with an electric car but again this bike is focused on the urban rider um, you know so town commuter and people like that not someone that's going to be doing really long journeys so 
lots of attention does the uh, Navy RM1 receive. Definitely feels very good around town. Very smooth, very confidence inspiring. It doesn't, um, even though it feels like a smaller bike under me, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't feel like that. It feels like it has good road presence, which is quite nice. Very easy to manoeuvre through these speed bumps without any issues. And let's see what kind of top speed we can get on this little country road here. So we wind the throttle up to the max. We're on 83% battery. So we're looking for 45 on the dial. And that's 45 we have just there. So again, you're not going to win any um, 0 to 60 races, but the brakes are working really well. So you just feel safe on it, which I think is important, especially in the urban environment. You want to feel safe and have the ability to manoeuvre in and out of vehicles, dodge pedestrians and get to your place of work safely. And that's just how you feel on your own one. And this right hand leather, which again, I'm going to keep calling the front brake, um, is very good for just that, you know, fingertip braking kind of slow you down into the corners and stuff but never does the bike feel like it's going to get away from you or anything you feel very much in control and only on the very bigger of these country lane bumps do you feel the suspension kind of maxing out a little bit but it's not uncomfortable yes I'm very impressed with the Maving RM1 it's definitely a bike I would uh, consider to have in my garage if there was room and I was even even though I'm not commuting just something just to you know pop to the shops on the weekend uh, and many people may say well you could just get an electric bike what's the point in having an electric motorcycle well one of the reasons for that is obviously uh, a, a UK or EU electric bike is restricted on the power um, so again you've probably got in a 500 watt motor or something and that restricts you down to um, I, don't know, I think it's 15 miles per hour pedal assist well so on this you have 45 miles per hour yes you have to have insurance and you have to have you know at least partial CBT here in the UK to ride the bike but um, yeah you can't really compare the two in my opinion and this is what's great about the English countryside just out pootling around on the Maving RM1, we're thoroughly enjoying it. good about this bike is those side mirrors. The barrow mirrors always give you a really good vision of uh, what's going on behind. Not too much knee, not too much knee, too much elbow, what am I talking about? You're not too much elbow. So again, and there's not that much vibration. They are wiggling a bit due to the bump of the road, but no obviously vibration from the engine because we don't have an engine, we have an electric motor on the Maving RM1. I really am enjoying a time on this bike so uh, yeah big thank you for Maving for letting me have a little go on it switching the modes whilst you're riding is also super easy so uh, you just press the D button on your right hand side of the throttle there press it once goes into mode 2 which will drop you down to that maximum of 28 miles per hour press it again and drop you down into the 21 and then press it again back up to 1 
you think of it like a podium position podium one two and three for your different speeds and when you come to get on the bike i don't think i mentioned that you have to uh press and hold what would have been the clutch um trigger in and then you can press the d button and uh actually let you engage drive maven have thought about security obviously the batteries on this bike are expensive 995 pounds each especially if you've got two of them maybe uh concerned about maybe someone stealing them so basically when you've turned the bike off you've got five seconds to open the battery compartments and to be able to remove the batteries after that they're properly locked in and actually saw uh, an example at the factory where someone had attempted to break into the battery compartment and hadn't been successful because basically the, the electric solenoid for the battery just over here gets disabled so they can't access that now if you don't have a battery in this 10 litre tank up the front then you're not restricted to um, having to wait five seconds you can just open that up whenever you want get access to any little luggage you got in there and there's also a little usb charger in there so you can prop your phone up and, and charge that whilst you're on the go as well so we've been out and about i think we had 90 percent battery when we started 73 percent now so no no problems or issues and we're just heading back to maving now but yeah i'm i'm thoroughly impressed with this bike very nice handling and uh I've done a good job. I'm really excited to see what comes from Maving in the future. If they do anything that's non-urban focused, something a little bit more pep, uh, or maybe even a model that, um, again, similar configuration, but um, a little bit faster acceleration. Obviously, that would mean you have to have a slightly different license. So it wouldn't uh, be okay for those with a CVT, but maybe something for the urban rider with like a little bit more get up and go for you know perhaps at the weekend when they're popping out in the country but uh, very nice very nice indeed I do like the minimalistic style on this as well so on the dial there the needles are showing you a different speed and that little LCD just telling you what what speed mode you're in what charge you have and like I said odometer trip trip A and trip B and your clock very minimalist I know style is a personal thing, but I think they've absolutely knocked it out of the park with this. One of the things to note with the uh, launch edition, you've got these really lovely carbon mud, mud guards, or fender guards, whatever you want to call them. Uh, and they're not on the, the ones after the founder's edition, but you can buy them for £300. Now... I guess I'm a bit of a tart. I probably would pay the £300 for them. Uh, perhaps not everybody would. Let me know in the comments, would you pay £300 for the carbon guards or not? But, uh, yeah. I mean, just look at this. So effortless. I'm popping around here in the surrounding villages of Coventry. Really enjoying it. I haven't bothered taking it, obviously, on the motorway or on dual carriageways because that's not where this bike is designed for obviously it will suffer a little bit from the speed but again most most one two fives kind of run out of puff towards 50 so this is very similar and again you just get used to completely nailing that throttle to get you to go but no problems again climb up these hills there straight up to 30 it, it's perfect for a little village jaunt and you haven't got to worry too much again about breaking the speed limit so it's just one less thing for you to worry about and you could just focus on enjoying your ride. As we pick up a little bit of a hill here, as we go into the 40, and these bumpy English roads. Like I said, very comfortable seat. The seat being made in Spain, and the covering from Italy. 65% of the parts of this bike are made in the UK. The frame is from China. The, uh, the batteries are LG, so that's from South Korea, isn't it? Obviously the Bosch motor being German and the frame from China and the rest of it all made here in the UK. Very nice. As for the servicing, they, uh, they come to your house for that or your place of work. Uh, the first service is free, I understand, and then I think they're expecting it to be 
around about 150 pounds something like that yet to be confirmed for the future serving obviously on an electric vehicle not too much um to be doing obviously you've got your brake fluid but there's no oil there's no chain so it's probably just uh, plug in the ecu do some basic checks make sure everything's working as it should be and you're good So that cheeky man just pulled straight out in front of me there. A brilliant bike. So I definitely recommend if you're near Coventry or you can pop up there. I put a link down in the description. You can uh, get yourself booked in for a test ride on the Maving RM1. I think they've got a pop-up shop at the moment in London somewhere. So that might be another option depending on where you're out. But reach out to them. I think if you're looking for something electric and you were considering a, a piston 125 and you got the budget again because this is a more premium bike i think it's um you know, six thousand pounds with both the batteries or something like that so it is a little bit more up there but you're paying for you know really good build quality i'm very impressed with the build quality and the ride and the handling and uh you, know, you have to pay a little bit more for nice things and uh doing a little bit for the environment like like most motorcycles two-year warranty on the bike itself five year well three-year warranty on the batteries which can be extended to five years but uh, I can't imagine that uh, this hub motor puts that much strain on the batteries so they're probably gonna last way past that without any issues Andy the missus and fly would love this test rakers look there's white vans his favorite thing I do think uh, Andy is test riding the Amazing RM1 soon as well. So definitely check out his video and his channel for just bike stuff. He does lovely bike stuff, a bit of flying as well. And uh, yeah, if you haven't checked out his channel already, definitely do. I'll put a link to that down in the description as well. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the, the ride along and kind of gave you a bit more of a feel for what it's like to be on and ride the Maving RM1. As I mentioned in the video, if you can, definitely go and test ride one of these if you're in the market for buying uh, such a motorcycle. Big thanks to Dan and Chris at Maving for letting me come and obviously do the test ride uh, and shoot some video as well. And thanks to Ed for helping me with the B-roll and uh, doing some of the video recordings as well and the drone footage. Much appreciative because it was super duper hot uh, when we did this test as it still continues to be now as I'm recording this. Um, so that is good. Uh, in terms of my final thoughts on it, I think it's a cracking bike. I really like the look and the styling of it. If um, I had a little bit more room in the garage, which may happen in the future, um, I would definitely consider one of these bikes. It's great for you know, pootling around town, but as you saw in the video, blasting around these country lanes, just enjoying yourself it is fantastic. This bike does that absolutely perfectly. Obviously, we didn't go on a massive um, run on the test test ride, but I had no concerns around kind of battery you know, range or anything like that. Maybe that's because I'm used to driving an electric car, so these things don't really phase me too much. But again, there's no range anxiety I had with this, uh, and it performed really, really well. The only two things, if I could change anything about this motorcycle, and these may be things that come in the future. First one is that very kind of small, smooth torque curve. If I had an option, I would have a sports mode. I appreciate it may give a reduction in range, but it would be nice with the electric motor to be able to kind of pull on the throttle and have a slightly more responsive speed coming out of junctions. That's the main thing that I noticed, obviously going from high performance bikes to test riding this one. But again, it's very similar performance to a 125. Um, so just something you'll adjust and get used to, but not a reason you know to be concerned. But again, I'd like something a bit more pep. Um, and then what would be nice perhaps in the future, I know it is an urban focused motorcycle, but if there was an option to be able to use, um, you know, the charging infrastructure for, for longer journeys, I appreciate that I'd probably add maybe another 800, a thousand pounds, if not more, um, to the cost of the motorcycle and obviously increase weight and perhaps uh, make it harder to have dual batteries. But again, these may be future models that Maving bring out if the RM1 is successful as I hope it will be, but 
yeah, I definitely think this is a cracking looking bike and it performs really well and definitely, yeah, definitely something I think you should consider if, again, especially if you're a CBT rider uh, and you, you live in a city and perhaps you don't want to get the full license, then it's going to be perfect for you. And I think you can, if you're at 16, I think you can have the software limited, again, to make it equivalent like a 50cc moped or something, and then you can kind of return it back to the factory later uh, and they can remove that restriction when you get a little bit older or whatever the, the restrictions are now for the youngins but uh hope this video was interesting and helpful if you have liked it please consider doing so and subscribe if you haven't already all kinds of different videos here on spectrum geeks but thanks for your time and attention it's been much appreciated until the next video take care of yourself and goodbye for now